illustrate the grace of God. And light will illuminate the right path. And when we see Jesus say, I am the light of the world, those are the things that He's talking about. As a matter of fact, when Jesus was traveling as an itinerant preacher, He gathered multitudes, thousands of people, everywhere He went. On one particular day, He was standing in the middle of an intersection, People were coming and going, and a crowd had gathered, a magnificent crowd. Thousands of people had gathered to hear him. And he began to teach them in a way that they had not heard him before. What he said was, among other things, unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no life in you. And the crowd began to ponder what he was saying. They questioned it one by one, then family by family, and then crowd by crowd. They turned their back on him and they left. Jesus never reasoned with them. Jesus never hid the cross to gain a disciple. Jesus allowed them to walk away. <coughs> And when the last member of the multitude was nothing but a murmur on the horizon, Jesus turned to His disciples that miraculously were still there. And He said, Will you also go? Stunned His disciples. Only Peter was the one to respond. Peter looked at Jesus and he said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Now, that's <coughs> magnificent in itself. Peter's response was anointed of the Holy Spirit. Because what he actually said was, Thou hast the words of eternal life eternal life. And when you do your research there, you'll find that that word for eternal, eonomos, literally means from the beginning of time throughout all of time and eternity. One definition of eonomos is the word that began the world. Peter said, Jesus, what, where are we going to go? You have the words that began the world. Now, how did the world begin? It was when God stepped out on nothing and said, Let there be light. The lights came on. So what Peter was saying actually to the Lord was, Jesus, where are we going to go? Because you spoke the words and the lights came on. Peter said, I had nothing to live for. I was, I was fishing out of a borrowed boat. And you came by and spoke and turned the lights on. There were other disciples. Matthew was there. Lord, I was a tax collector. I was working for the Roman government. And you came by and spoke the words and turned the lights on. How many of us were going about our daily tasks, doing what we felt was necessary and what we wanted to do, and then suddenly God came by through a Sunday school teacher or a daily vacation Bible school or an evangelist or a pastor or just a good friend or a praying mother and grandmother or grandmother and grandfather and, 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 and the Lord spoke a word through them and the lights came on in your life. You spoke the words that began the 
the book. I guess you've noticed the smaller lantern here. This lantern was left here on the street as the lamp lighter would come by. He encountered a, a blind man asleep on the street. That lantern was lit at his feet. People would pass on the busy thoroughfare not understanding why a blind man would have a lantern knowing that he could not benefit from the light. And so one of them asked him, sir, why would you, a blind man, here on the street, have a lantern? The blind man said, I'm a beggar here. I have no way to make my living but just at the mercy of the people that pass. And every night, before I pillow my head here on the sidewalk, I light this little lantern so that no one would stumble over me. Do you realize that in Matthew, is it chapter 6? The Lord not only said, I'm the light, He said, ye are the light of the world. Let's make sure no one stumbled over us. And let's make sure we speak to the Lord today and let Him cause the light to come on in our lives so that no one would stumble over us. God bless you.